I'm ruining this. This is not nice, my career. <laughs> what am I doing right now? Can you please help me out? Say somebody, anybody. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Stab at the News on News Central TV. I am Mashut Fatai. <laughs> oh my goodness! I, I pray I, I convinced you I was very confident about this. We begin in Central Africa. The road begins. We begin in Central Africa, where investigators in the Democratic Republic of Congo say it has serious evidence pointing to actions against national security. The country's presidential spokesman, Kasongo Muama, disclosed this on State TV Tuesday night where he stressed that an attempt to destabilize democratic institutions would not be tolerated. Wow. Oh my God. I did. <laughs> this is work. Next, we have the um, Congo-Uganda reparations and the International Court of Justice at the Hague will today pass a verdict in the long-running case between the Democratic Republic of Congo and Uganda. The DRC is claiming over $11 billion that's in compensation for occupation, which Uganda has rejected as disproportionate. It was gathered that the Hague-based court in 2005 ruled that Uganda must pay compensation to Congo for its occupation and looting in its... So in my mind, I'm trying to not slow it down and be like, top, top, but God, is so much work. We now head to West Africa. This sounds so wrong. We now head to Nigeria. I'm in Nigeria. Government officials in Nigeria have responded to the current fuel scarcity in the country, attributing it to the importation of adulterated fuel into the country. New, New Central gathers that the recall of the recall of petrol containing high sulfur from petrol stations is a major cause for the scarcity as consumers suffer various degrees of loss due to its use. Yeah, because I don't understand too. Ahead of the February 12th area council elections holding in the nation's capital, Abuja, Nigeria's Independent National Electoral Commission has warned staff of the commission to avoid every form of malpractice that can mar the polls. The chairperson of the commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, however, informed stakeholders that elections will not be taking place in polling units without registered voters. Now, yo, guys, I hope you have your PVCs. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not used to projecting. I've been doing film for a very long time now. I don't know what that feels like, but um, yeah, and well, can, I, can I end it right now, please? Please, <laughs> please. How do you end this? Wait, chill, chill, chill. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. So all that and that's, that is all on Stab at the News I Am. Now, I feel ashamed to even say my name because I just this up. <laughs> Don't forget to follow News Central across all platforms. That's News Central TV. Um, you can download our mobile app on App Store and Play Store. And you can also watch News Central live on Star Times Channel 274, Vision 247, Avo TV, and YouTube. I will not say my name again because I know I messed this up. And bye. <laughs>